Hello, everyone um, from Washington, D.C. You all have heard about the deadly shooting and the wounding of innocent people at the Navy Yard, literally down the street from where our offices are. You know, the, the sad news is um, our freedoms and our open society, one of the prices you pay for it is that people can walk in and do deadly things to innocent people for no reason at all. That's why we have to remain forever vigilant. And when we see um, these deadly uh, rampages unfolding, we must act swiftly and decisively to minimize the loss and casualties um, that could ensue from this kind of dead, dead, deadly pursuits. Innocent people died, people reporting, wanting to be the first to report, getting the facts wrong, but we do know um, it was a gunman and he may have had some accomplices, but uh, we know four, three or four people died, seven or eight are wounded. People get up in the morning, go to work without a thought of death and this kind of rampage and they're in the cafeteria and all of a sudden they hear these bullets and people just start shooting and it's just, that's, that's, that's what happens. It can happen, you gotta prepare yourself for it and it probably wasn't a terrorist attack. If it were some crazy terrorist attack, we probably understand their sickness and patheticness better, but when it's someone who has a gripe or anger and upset a disgruntled employee, it's all the worst, especially if they're one of us, Americans like you and I, to go in and just think that to make a point, to make a case, to make a statement, um, to go out some sick martyr, they have to go in and kill your mother, your daughter, your son, your cousin, your uncle, your grandfather, your grandmother, a, a beloved relative for senseless reasons. They had nothing to do with their anger and they just killed people for no reason at all. Our hearts goes out to these families. Like the president said, those were patriots that died. They died in the line of battle because that became a battle scene. Um, it became a war zone and, and just people died. And obviously it's very upsetting. Um, it's very sad because it could have been any, any of us, any of our relatives. And so we all feel and are saddened by the sickness that continues to happen, especially in an open society like the United States.